we are having four important you know locks read lock write lock exclusive but not cumulative see here write lock if you talk about the write lock this write lock is also known as exclusive lock or exclusive and cumulative lock so we will see we'll try to understand in briefly over here not in detail for detail you have to go through the videos on the youtube okay here we don't have that much time in order to make you understand fully but i will try to make you understand with my level best quickly over here so read lock read lock let's let's first see how many uh, important locks are there there are so many if you go to the s4hana system you will be able to see at least 10 or 12 locks but we are not going to discuss all those okay the four very important locks we are having at least we should know and if in interview we are supposed to tell at least these four locks in order to have the good impression okay so try to remember these locks first one is the read lock read lock is also known as shared locks and its the abbreviation is s so whenever you are passing the function module whenever you are calling the function module in order to lock the record you have to pass this particular s over there so in in parameter in export parameter of the function module this particular you know symbol you have to pass s you have to pass okay go and explore more about this read lock or shared lock theoretically i'm going to explain you read lock or share lock means at the same time two or more than two people can access the record of a database table means they will be able to read the data they will not be able to change the data but they will be able to read the data okay they will be able to read the data at same time for you know one table okay more than two or two people that's the meaning of read lock right lock or exclusive lock or exclusive and cumulative lock all these are same either you tell write lock or you tell simply exclusive lock if you tell simply exclusive lock the meaning of that means exclusive and cumulative by default this cumulative comes by default cumulative comes by default okay so write lock or exclusive lock or exclusive and cumulative these all are same name you don't have to get confused the so meaning of this means if you are editing some record in a table at the same time another people will not be able to edit that particular record okay either it is a program or it can be anything right so whenever you you know whenever you go into the change mode of a pro program automatically write locks get invoked over there forced over there this write lock and another people if that program is, they are going to trying to access you know they will not be able to you know edit or do something they will be able to they will be able to see in the display mode but they will not be able to do the edit and all so that's the meaning of write lock but what's the meaning of over here exclusive and cumulative why this cumulative we have used so see in the separate session suppose i have suppose i have open one program and suppose on that program this exclusive lock is invoked okay then myself i myself will be open to that particular program in a different session in the edit mode try to understand what i am trying to tell you but but in the real time scenario this exclusive but not cumulative lock is forced on the program but suppose on the program suppose you have written one program g report or something like that okay some program some piece of code you have written so that g program suppose in one session i am able to open okay if that g program in one session suppose i am able to open then the same program i will not be able able to open in the change mode if the exclusive but not cumulative lock is there that is not possible okay and that is what in the real time happens but assume if the lock this particular e lock is there then the same program in the two or more than two different session you will be able able to open in the change mode that's the difference between you know that's the meaning of cumulation that's the meaning of cumu lesion over here means the same people will be able to open in the different session in the edit mode it will start getting 
accumulating, 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 but only for the same people, not for the different people. This is the main difference between this exclusive and cumulative and simply exclusive, but not cumulative. This is the sign. This is the symbol E. E represents the right lock or exclusive lock or exclusive and cumulative lock. And here this X represents exclusive, but not cumulative log right here in the chat box for how many of you these differences are uh, you know uh, differences are clear just write yes just write yes so that i will understand yes these differences are clear otherwise i will again try to make you understand very good very good very good so very good now let's go to the optimistic log this is again you know very interesting optimistic log so see in hindi we tell optimistic means ashavadi okay in hindi we tell ashavadi ashavadi means what we have the belief that something is going to be positive right something is going to be good okay so what happens in optimistic log that if more than two peoples are there in the edit mode uh, 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 just uh, sorry i'm wrong here i'm wrong here uh, please try to uh, focus over here. What I'm trying to tell, if the same people, uh, not the same people, two people, two or more than two people, if the two or more than two people is accessing one object in the read mode, okay? Listen one more time. If two or more than two people accessing the same object in the read mode, and one people is going into the change mode, then automatically that optimistic lock gets uh, converted into this, you know, exclusive but not cumulative lock. Automatically, this O gets converted into X. Okay. This O gets converted into. So two people went into read mode, right? Two people went into read mode. Two people went into read mode and when one people goes into the edit mode, automatically the right lock gets, you know, this X lock, this X lock gets applied over there. Okay, this, this, this right lock, this E and X. So it again depends like, you know, uh, sometimes E will get apply over there. But certainly the exclusive will be there. Exclusive lock gets applied over there. It can be E or X, anything based upon the, you know, mechanism, whatever it is said that gets applied. Okay. So whenever the two or more than two people are accessing the same object in the read mode and one of the people is going into the edit mode, then automatically the exclusive lock or right lock either e or x gets applied over there okay based upon the scenario based upon the what you want to get apply over there you know it's a mechanism just go and explore about this but this is the agenda automatically if someone is going into the edit mode automatically the e or x will be applying over there that's the meaning of optimistic lock okay now you might be telling that what's the use of this read lock why this read lock is there right two people can access fine three people can access four people can access yeah that is fine see what will happen if you are, if you will be applying the read lock explicitly on any object other people will not be able to go into the edit mode that's the benefit of the read lock that's the main agenda of the read lock Suppose you are accessing some, some multiple people, you know, uh, me, you, some other people also are accessing the same object, reading the same object. If some of the people is trying to go into the edit mode, he will not be able to go into the edit mode. That's the benefit of the read lock. Okay. That's the use of the read lock. Okay. So sometimes if you are not going to access any particular content into the edit mode, you should understand that read lock has been applied on this particular object. In order to understand in more detail, go through the lock object chapter on the YouTube. Fine. So this is the main, you know, main uh, point about this lock object. 